Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and welcome to Thoughts on Thursday. Today I have a big thought and I haven't seen anybody kind of have a similar thought, so I'm curious. I want to sit down and I want to talk about the Naked Reloaded by Urban Decay. I want to sit down because I think I have a dupe. Not an, it's not an exact dupe, but I am able to sit down and create a very similar look and I cannot tell the difference. So if you are excited to see if I can find a dupe on this palette and then my thoughts because this is new to me, go ahead and sit tight because we're going to get right to the video. Okay, first I do want to say that this is not a palette for palette dupe. Um, I was just playing around with my makeup one day and I'm like, I'm recreating looks that I really, really wanted that really, really had me intrigued for the, to buy this palette. And I was like, I wonder if it is kind of a dupe. So I thought maybe I'll sit down and I will get this. The palette that did inspire this video is the L'Oreal La Palette Nudes. I was playing around with this one day, and like I was saying, and I was like, oh, this looks like one of those looks, and I can't remember who, but somebody did. And then I just kept looking, and then I looked at, like, online swatches of the two, because like I said, I didn't have this one. I wasn't going to get it. Um, and and they were very similar, and I thought, oh my gosh, I, I wonder if this is a dupe. They are, L'Oreal does own Urban Decay, in case you didn't know that. Um, so I did, I go, I went out and I bought the Urban Decay palette and then I was swatching and I, was, I wasn't able to completely dupe with this palette, but then some of these other shades, and obviously this is a very, very neutral palette, it wasn't going to dupe the, the coral shades. And there's especially three shades in here that fall very, very corally. And I went, but wait a minute. <laughs> that looks a lot like the Paradise palette. <laughs> also by L'Oreal. So I did some swatches, you guys, if you do not have this palette, or if you're somebody that really doesn't like the coral shades. So you just really want the nude shades. I... I can dupe this for you. And you probably already have the I have the palette and you can recreate exact replicas or something very similar to all of these tutorials online. So I'm going to do some swatches just so that you can see how these really compare. I'm really, sh I'm, I'm shocked. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm trying, I'm going to try to do this and not move too terribly much, but starting right here, these are all the Urban Decay swatches. Starting up here by my fingers, we have Blur, Boundaries, Bucked, Distilled, Dreamweaver, Endgame, Burn, Reputation, Retro, Angel Fire, Barely Baked, and Bribed. And then I have my notes here, and what was surprising to me was that the La Palette Nude is pretty much this half of the palette. There is six shades in the Urban Decay, and all six of these shades are pretty much in this palette. And then the other side of the palette from Urban Decay right here, these six, they're all in this palette here. So it's it's like L'Oreal took two palettes and was like, here, you can have half and half. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to swatching these. For the first shade here, I will say I don't have anything in the L'Oreal palette because these two lighter shades are both kind of like a pearly shimmer and this is very much so a matte shade. But this shade right here is very comparable to mixing two and four together. This one's too light, this one's too pinky, but if you mix these two together, these are just finger swatches too, so it's not perfect. This is not an exact dupe, but you do get quite a, a similar shade right there that you could get a similar effect. Also from this palette right here, the Paradise palette number eight is exactly like Boundaries. It is just ever so lightly like a shade lighter but same effect on the eyes, absolutely. Moving over for the next four shades, we have Bucked which is right here, which is an exact dupe of number five out of this palette. Again, with the numbers, um, L'Oreal doesn't do their names, but number five. 
is literally the same shade, same depth as the L'Oreal one. Distilled right here is just like number seven in the L'Oreal palette. And this one almost swatches a little bit nicer than the Urban Decay one, but same tone. This is able to build up to this. I guess I should have done that, but same tone, same kind of effect on the eyes. And then Dreamweaver right here, which I don't know if I've got like a dud palette, but this was, it's crumbly and it's hard to work with. But number nine in the La Palette Nude is a little bit lighter of a silver, but when you top it off and kind of mix it with the shade right here, it's the same color. So you just have to mix seven and nine and you get the exact same color and it's not crumbly. End game right here is number six out of the, the palette nude. Same thing, same exact color, same effect. So right here we already have half of the palette duped. So and to the rest of the palette is pretty much all in the Paradise palette. Burn right here is the same as number 12 in the Paradise palette. Same color. Same effect. Same reflex. Reputation right here is very similar to number six in the Paradise palette. Same color. And then Retro is just like number seven out of the Paradise palette, except this one has a shimmer, but it does have the same tone right there. It's a little bit lighter, but I think that might be because there's a slight gold reflect in it. Next we have Angel Fire right here, which actually can be duped out of both of these palettes, and I will swatch both of these for you. For the Paradise palette, this is number three, which is one of my favorite colors. I'm going to try to do a short swatch, but there is number three out of the Paradise palette. And then out of the nude palette, number two is the same shade. So L'Oreal has created three shades called three different things in three different palettes. Next, Barely There can also be duped out of both palettes. The one from Paradise is a little bit more gold, but you, it's still very similar on the eyes. And out of the nude palette, you have number four that dupes this color almost perfectly. The last shade down here for Urban Decay, we can dupe with the Paradise palette with the shade number two. And again, it's almost an exact dupe. So we have a very, very close dupe. It's not exact, and yes, you do need two palettes. But here are the swatches for this kind of dupe tutorial. Okay, really quick before we get into putting this on the eyes, this is not an exact dupe, and you do need two palettes compared to just the one. And I was wondering, well, is it cost effective? Because now you have to buy two palettes. But the Paradise palette retails for $14.99, on Ulta. I'm doing Ulta prices. They are higher. So you could get them probably cheaper at Target or Walmart or Walgreens with coupons and stuff like that. So we will talk about that. And then the La Palette Nude is $19.99 retail. So the two palettes added up is $34.98 retail and that's without coupons or sales. But Ulta often has buy one get one half off with L'Oreal products. And if you did purchase it that way, it would only be $27.49, but because it is drugstore and Ulta's awesome, they always have 
not always, but a lot of times they have the $350 off a $15 drugstore purchase, which you can apply that to. So that brings the total down to $23.99 with the buy one, get one half off plus the coupon. And then if you had a manufacturer like coupon, you could add that on. So you're talking $24 plus tax, you know, give and take where you are. This palette right here retails for $44. So it's almost half off. It's almost half off if you wait for a sale. And then you just got these two. And again, if you didn't want these corally shades down here, you could absolutely just grab this and still get very, very similar looks as to what people are putting out for tutorials on the Urban Decay, which is really, really cool. And actually, when I'm filming this, um, Ulta still does have a sale on these palettes. The Nude palette is on sale for $14.99 as well as the Paradise palette is only $11.24 and they have the $3.50 coupon. So you could get both of these palettes, dupe this Urban Decay Naked palette for $22.73. It's kind of a steal. <laughs> so if you really have been waiting around to buy this, this is basically the half off. Like I said, I was just doing my eyes with this nude palette. I was like, that looks like, and I, I wish I remember I don't know. It just, it, it sparked. And I was like, I wonder. And then I tried Googling it. I didn't see anybody talking about this. And I'm like, they are owned by the same people. So kudos. So let's zoom you in and let's do an eye look. Okay. Now that I have you do zoomed in, I am filming for another video. So if you want to see what's on my cheeks, it will be down in the description box, but that video is coming tomorrow. So in case you were wondering, but let's go ahead and let's do Let's do L'Oreal on the right side, which is the side, and then we'll do Urban Decay on this side. How am I going to remember this? Okay, first I'm going to go in with number five right here out of the L'Oreal Nude Palette. And I am just going to go in with a blending brush right here. I am so happy that I found this. This is like my go-to crease shade. I probably should have did the peachy one. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Oh, well. Okay, and then I'm going to go in here to my sponge and I'm going to clean off any excess residue so that we can use it on the other side. Then I'm going to go into the Urban Decay palette and I'm going to use Bucked up here. Number, It's like the third shade. So as you can see, both of these are blending really, really well. Oh, I do have my eyes primed. So I do have the Ulta Beauty eye primer on and matte. So I forgot to mention that. But there is those two uh, blended on. And again, I should have went with something peachy. So what can we do? Next, I'm going to go into the Paradise palette. And I'm going to go into uh, number... Oops, I'm going to go into number six right here. And I am just going to take a flat shadow brush and I am doing this dry, tapping off the excess just because I'm not using it wet. So and I am just going to tap this on the center, a little bit closer to the inner part, but leaving the outer portion of my eye over here um, blank still. And then again, I'm going to go into my magic sponge here and wipe this off. And then I'm going to go into Reputation from the Urban Decay palette right here. Same thing, tapping off the excess using this dry and I'm going to apply this to the lid in the same position. I actually need to go in for more pigment. L'Oreal. <laughs> okay. I have that peach palette open and it's just, it smells so heavenly right now. So having to dip in for a similar pigment out of the Urban Decay to get the same pigment payoff. 
and I still feel like this is a little bit more rosy. All right, cleaning this off again. I'm gonna try to blend some of this away. Does that work? Sure, it worked a little bit, right? Ow, that one's still more pinky. Okay, this is, the Urban Decay is still a little bit lighter, so I am just going to use my finger and go in with that shade. Let's see if we can get that. There it is. Now they both look that deep rosy kind of tone. Next, I'm going to go back over to the Nude Palette in into number seven, way down here. And I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna take a small tapered blendy brush right here, tapping off the excess, and then I'm going to put this on the outer corner right here. Kind of fill in where I didn't put that pink shade. And I'm going to deepen it just a little bit more and then start taking it up towards my eyebrow, low in the crease. Just kind of blending that until it all blends together. Kind of taking it above where I placed the pink kind of shade too. A little bit more. My eyes are so dang crinkly anymore. It drives me I'm going to take a, a clean, big, fluffy brush and just blend the outside here. Poof, be gone, right? Okay, then I'm going to clean this brush off. I am using the same brush so that I can get the same look, same effect and everything. And then I'm going to go into Distilled over here from the Urban Decay palette. And same thing, I'm just going to dab this in the outer corner where we didn't place the pink shade and overlapping it just about as wide as the brush and not too terribly much, but just deepening it a little bit. And then I'm going to tap over that and then start carrying it up towards my eyebrow and then over just like we did on the other side with the L'Oreal. And just a blending that until it's all blended. Okay, and then I will take this big fluffy brush because there's nothing on it, but I will just in case take everything off and then fluff that over. So there is the tops of my eyelids done. Let's get into a lower lash line. What do we want to do for lower lash? Oh, we should do that pinky shade. No, I want to do inner corner. Okay, I'm going to take a very small, a flat kind of brush, and I'm going to dip in the shade number three. I'm going to go into number three right here out of the Paradise palette. This, this, I love this color. This is my favorite color in a very, very long time. If they had a giant pan of this, I would use it like bronzer size. I would pan it. I love it that much. And I'm going to take this right on the inner corner. This is just dry. And I'm going to build it up a little bit. And I'm traveling over that initial pink shade just to kind of ombre it a little bit. This shade is absolutely beautiful when you wet it. I am not wetting it because I don't want it too punchy, but I want a little bit of lighter in the inner sort. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this brush off again. And then I'm going to go down here to Angel Fire in the Urban Decay palette. Same thing, tapping in, same spot. Just 
kind of patting and lightly traveling it over that other pinky shade that we had laid down earlier. And same thing, this, this palette really almost needs to be used with a wet brush, I'm finding, so I do have to kind of spend a little bit more time building the pigment with Urban Decay. Okay, and then I want to go in, then I want to go in to, where are you? I want to go into the Paradise palette into number two right here. For this, I'm going to take kind of a, a smaller pencil brush. And I want to just kind of brighten up the inner corner. This is kind of a matter, not, this is, this is a matte shade, kind of. It's, it's very, very pretty, but it's very, very brightening. And sometimes I just love a matte inner corner. And then I'm going to clean it off. I always want to the other side. <laughs> and then I'm going to get into Bribe, which is way down here on the Urban Decay. Next, I'm going to take my mini fan brush here and that same shade, this number two from the L'Oreal Pal Paradise. I'm going to kind of brighten up the underneath my eyebrow bone right there. And then wiping it off. I am showing you just so you know, getting it real good. And then bribe out of the Urban Decay for the Urban Decay side. And there's fallout. Holy crap, fallout. Okay. Crap. Oh, what to do, what to do. Oh, it's all over my eyelashes. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And it's all over my face. Good thing I powdered today. Because there's all kinds of fallout. I think I got it all. Okay. And then for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to brighten this up with a punch of pink. I do have kind of a corally pinky shirt on today. And I'm going to go in with a Domi smaller brush. And I'm going to go into the shade over here, number seven. Out of the Paradise palette. And again, this is a little bit on the shimmer side compared to what is in the Urban Decay, but with just doing a little bit on the lower lash line, it doesn't really pick up. So you are able to make this matte with a matte shade out of the palette. And then brushing it off. <laughs> And then dipping into Retro over here with Urban Decay. Okay, there's that. And then I'm going to brush this off again because I am going to use this just to deepen up on the outside here. And I'm going to go into the transition shade that we used. So number five from the nude palette and just oops just lightly on the outer just just touching it pretty much just kind of blending it in to the transition but making the pink a little bit darker but yet kind of ombre back in and I'm gonna dust this off and, I'm, and then I'm gonna go in with a bucked right here with the Urban Decay just on the outside Again, same thing, just kind of blending it up into the crease shade, but then kind of giving the, a fade in with the peachy shade. All right, I'm going to put some lashes and liner on and I'll be right back. Okay, and this is the finished look. I did want to stay a little bit closer right now before I give you my final thoughts, just so that you can see kind of closer these two compared. And again, this side was all the L'Oreal palettes, and then this side right here was the Urban Decay. So I can't tell a difference with my eyes closed. I might, My eyes are hooded. This eye is very much so more hooded than my left eye, so that is why 
it might look a little different because you could see a little bit more of my hood on the side but when I close my eyes I did take a couple pictures I can't see a difference this is not the first look I've done with one side and then the, the other with the Urban Decay I can't see a difference you guys I, I honestly can't so I'm gonna zoom you out and give you some final thoughts all right now that I got you zoomed out let's give some final thoughts on this can this palette be duped I think it can uh, honestly all of these colors can be duped with two palettes from L'Oreal. L'Oreal is a parent company to Urban Decay. Did they knock it off? I don't know, but these were all first. And I think I like the fact that there's two different palettes and you can then dupe this palette because half of this palette is pretty much on the warmer, peachier tone and the other half is very neutral, neutral kind of tones. And if you're, you're not going to use half of this palette it's not worth the $44. If you're only going really strongly feeling like these are the colors that draw you to the palette, this palette is half wasted. For less than half the price, get this palette. If this is, these are the tones that you're after that really draw you to the palette, get that one. Or if the other side where it's just the peachy shades that you really love, grab this one. This one's only $15. It's on sale for 11 bucks right now. Let's review it. I know there's been a lot of reviews, but I want to review compare these two. And this palette right here, I'm happy I have it. Don't get me wrong. I love neutrals. Yes, I have all of these colors, obviously, through L'Oreal. But this shade right here, Dream Weaver, this shade drew me to this palette so much. I was like, oh my god, that, that shade is gorgeous. It is a crumbly, hard, stinking mess, and it's so hard to work with. And it it kind of bums me out. I know I've seen a couple reviews where they struggled with this shade, but I didn't, I don't feel like everybody struggled. And I don't know, do I take it back and exchange it? Because I, I think I will get use out of it because it is like two palettes in one. So if I wanted both of these kind of options, I could just take the one palette instead of the two palettes. They'll get used. I'm a neutral lover and I love the coral peachy shades. They're, they're my thing. I don't know. Do I take it back? Do I exchange it? Let me know down in the comments. And I will say as far as the formula, they both apply well. I don't get a lot of kick up in pan with any shadow. You get some kick up depending on what brush you use. Some of my brushes are, I don't know, they kick up. Some of them don't. So I do get very minimal kick up in pan with both of these palettes. Both of the formulas feel very, very similar. They're both buttery. They're both soft. This one gives me follow. I don't know what it is. And it, I never said this on my channel before, but I don't own a lot of Urban Decay because Urban Decay, for whatever reason, does not like my eyeballs and it gives me follow. And I just, I would rather buy L'Oreal that doesn't give me follow on my face because <laughs> I just cannot get with it and just do my eye makeup first. It's a habit to do the rest of my face first. I can't get out of it. I'm, I'm old and I can't change my routine. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I share with your friends because if you've been debating about this palette, but you're like, ah, $44 is a lot. There's a fantastic sale going on it this week and I'm assuming it would be through Sunday. I don't know, but you know, maybe, again, maybe you only wanted half the palette or you know somebody that only wants half the palette. Like, oh man, I wish this was just a palette. Well, it's out there. But if you guys have any other video ideas or if you've been dabbling with a palette and you're like, hmm, that kind of looks like a knockoff of something, but it's not meant to be a dupe. These aren't meant to be a dupe. Because if anything, Urban Decay duped L'Oreal. <laughs> Hit me up down in the comment section or find me on my other socials. I am on there pretty frequent throughout the day, given mom duties for the day, the moment, and the time and everything. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!